And welcome to the second game here at Nazareth Hall tonight. Where the fifth and sixth grade boys 1A team for St. Andrews, the Highlanders, will be playing against their counterparts from St. Stephen's Episcopal School, the Spartans. The first game, the girls game, was an exciting one. And we're looking forward to that continuing as we move through the night. Again, this is the second of three games. And as with the first game, we will play two 18-minute halves. So college rules here. Just run down some of the roster names and numbers for the, uh, for the Highlanders who will be playing in the white uniforms. We have from the class of 27, number 15, Jack Dial. From the class of 28, Number four, Miguel Angel Fernandez Rosas. From the class of 27, number 43, Noah Gilmore. Also from the class of 27, number 31, Roman Lubetsky. The rest of these are all class of 27, so we'll run them down real quick. Number 20, Lincoln Majors. Number 53, Luke Matabala. Number 33, Chase Neer. Number 34, Hunter Reyna. And number 44, Aiden Strauss. And next, it looks like there may have been a change. I'm seeing number 32 out to take the tip off. Oh, I'm sorry. That's number 32 for the Spartans. And his name is Scott Stribling, sixth grader Scott Stribling. And taking the tip will be uh, Roman Lubetsky for the Highlanders. Other starters for the Highlanders, Dial, number 15, Majors, Mathabala, and St. Stevens comes off with the tip off. Now number 43, looking for a spot. He drives up under the baseline, puts the first two up for the game. And we'll do my best to keep up with these scores as much as possible. And another two on the board in quick succession for the Spartans, number 43. 15, Jack Dial setting up the offense for the Highlanders now. He's going, he's put everybody in motion left to right. 34's got it, 20's got it. He'll go for the three shot from the corner, no good. Number 32's got it now, bringing it down fast for the Spartans. 45's got it, now out to 10. We'll put names for these numbers to these numbers as we move along. 45 all the way back out at the top. Over Metabolist's head, finds 32 under the basket, now it's back out to the top of the key. 43 drives the lane, goes up. And the Highlanders come down with the rebound. In the hands of 31, Lubetsky. Directing traffic now, getting his guy set up. Over on the right side to number 20. Back to Lebetsky now. Inside to Mathabala. Mathabala loses the ball. And it's passed down court. Moving down here in rapid succession. Number 45 puts it in for the Spartans. Taking a big early lead with 16-14 in the game left to go in the first half. Once again, Jack Dial will advance slowly up the court taking his time, setting up the offense for the Highlanders. Looking left to Majors. Now he'll go right to 34, and it's intercepted once again. Number 45 will bring it back down. The Highlanders get the rebound and can't get out anywhere with it. That player, by the way, who you've seen come down the court three times in a row for the Spartans, that is number 45, Freddie Downing. Very dangerous player. He will be where he will be, he will bear watching throughout this game. Dial now looking to get it inside. Can't tries to go across. There's Freddie. He's coming down with it again, but he's got some opposition this time. Spartans working it around the 
Back out to number six at the top. And back in the hands of Downing. He drives in against two defenders, no good. And the Highlanders come up with the rebound. Wound up in the hands of Jack Dial there on the right side. He drives in. And Dial will inbound from the far baseline. Over to 31, now it's tied up, got a tie up there. And the ball will go over to the Spartans. Other Spartans on the court right now, 43, Nathan Schmidt, who gives it to Bart, to uh, Downing. Downing takes his time now, he sees the middle wide open and tries to drive. will be brought in by Eli Sahaley, number six. Gets it to 43, who drives in. And that young man right there will get a shot from the line, 43, Nathan Schmidt. Schmidt's first shot is good. Extends that lead out to seven. 13.28 to go in the first half. No good on the second shot. Bounces off the rim. Metabolus got it. Gets it over to number four. We'll put a name to that number here in just a second. Four to 31. 31 looks to drive in on the right. Can't get anywhere with it. And it's stolen by the Spartans. 32 all the way into the basket, puts in an easy layup. Extending that lead to nine. And that extends the lead out to 11. There go the Highlanders once again, tries to pass down court, it's intercepted. Downing's wide open under the basket, puts in another two. Number four, Rosas working it out of there. Pass down the court to number 20. He drives in, can't get anywhere, 34. Before Reyna. In the hands of Downing. Looking for his men to get set up. Out to 32, who is easily the tallest player on the court. Very easy to get a pass over everyone else's head to him. 15-0, 11.58 to go, first half. 34 driving down for the Highlanders. No good. All the way down to number six. Easy layup once again under the, under the basket. Thirty-four. Rain has got the ball now. Gets it down court to Lubetsky, who loses the ball in a cross-court pass to thirty-two. He drives in, puts up another two. The Highlanders will call a timeout. The momentum of the game has definitely gone against them. See what they can see. You can see if we can put a name to some of the uh, numbers we've been seeing on the court so far this first half. Of course, 43 for the uh, Spartans. Nathan Schmidt. Uh, we've seen 32 out there. Scott Stribling is his name. Uh, number five for the uh, for the Spartans. Hugo Vera. Of course, we've watched Freddie Downing put several points away. And of course, number six, Eli Sahaley. Players we've been watching for the Highlanders. Now on the court, 43, Noah Gilmore. 33, Chase Near. 
who is going to inbound it from the near sideline. With Miguel Rosas, number four. Rosas takes the ball, starts up court with it. He's got Lubetsky waiting for him in the middle. Gets out the left side, back to Rosas. Looking for Lubetsky underneath, can't get there. 43 steals it. Comes down against heavy opposition, still manages to get the shot off. It gets called for traveling beforehand. Near will inbound to Rosas. Rosas down there, and he's got Majors on the left. Gilmore in the middle. And Near on the right. Gets it out to, tries to go to Near, winds up going into the Spartan bench. 10.39 to go, of course, as you can see the score, 19 to nothing in favor of the Spartans. Freddie Downing brings the ball in. He'll drive in himself, put the shot up. Near comes down with the rebound. Gets tied up with Downing. But the home team will keep the ball. Near will inbound to Rosas once again. Near on the right, Gilmore in the middle. Near now working his way across the baseline. He's got it in the far corner there. Here back out to 20. Gets a screen from Gilmore now. It's out to Rosas once again. Fakes a pass, passes it out to Near. Tries to go back to Rosas. It's intercepted. It's in the hands of Gilmore once, or Downing once again. And he puts in another easy layup. 21-0, 9.39 left to go in this game as Rosas advances up the court. Rotating the offense now near to Majors. Majors takes the shot, no good. Gilmore tries the rebound, can't get it. It goes to the Spartans. Betsky now bringing the ball down the court to Gilmore. Back over to number 20, Majors. Majors in the ball on the left side now. Over to Lebetsky once again. Looking for an opening inside. I'd like to get it to Gilmore, but that ain't happening just yet. Almost a backcourt violation, but Majors manages to save it. Lubetsky driving in hard, but no luck there. Majors will bring it in now. Looking for Gilmore. Gets it to Gilmore. Gets it out to Near. Near drives in, passes across to Majors. Doesn't get it through to him winds up going out the back. However, the Highlanders will keep possession. Major Stulebetsky. No, I'm sorry, to Near. Near can't get anywhere working against Sahaley and Downing. He travels, the ball goes over. And Downing will bring the ball up the court. New in the game now, Wyatt Levine, number 17 for the Spartans. A couple other subs in there. We'll name them as we can. Up to number zero. That is Kellen Buckholz. Downing inside to the middle to 32. Big time conversation is Scott Stribling. I mean, combination rather. Scott Stribling puts away two more. Lead extends to 23. Lebetsky to near to Majors. Majors driving in under the baseline. He's blocked under the basket. And now Downing's got a run to the basket once again. Defense shapes up in front of him. That's 23. We'll put a name to that number here in just a moment. 23 is Chris Jaswal. Just 
Walls got the ball once again. They're on the right side in front of the basket. Left side of your screen. Tries to hand it over to Scott Stribling, who can't control it. Aiden Strauss in the game now. And Jack Dial back on the court. Aiden, number 44, Dial number 15. Very deliberate about setting up the offense. He's over to Near. Back to Dial. Back to Near once again. Near drives in. Looks for the shot. He doesn't have one. Gets it back out to Dial. Gets around Small. Goes up. Rebound. Gilmore? No. Dial comes down with the rebound. And the ball will go over. As Levine, Wyatt Levine brings it in. It's in the hands of Downing now. Over to number zero who drives in against Dial. No go. Dial comes up with the ball and he's got a break now. He's going against Jasmail under the basket against Downing. Foul goes against Downing. And Dial's going to take a shot. Try to cut into that lead as we go under five minutes in, uh, to play in this first half of the first boys game of the evening. Stick around, we've got one more coming up after this. First shot is no good, off the rim for Dial. Subs coming in now, Gilmore takes a seat for the Islanders. Dial's second shot is no good. The Snail's got the ball now. He's working against Dial as he comes up court. He goes in, takes the shot, but not before he gets called for traveling. And it'll be Highlander's ball here at the near baseline. Jack Dial will once again take his time moving up the court, setting up the offense. We're under four to go. Out to near. 34 on the left side. That is Hunter Reyna back in the game. As Lubetsky gets a foul as he takes that shot up. Clock ticking under three and a half to go. Lubetsky's first shot is off the rim. One more chance, approaching three minutes now, and that's off the rim. Just mail comes up with the rebound, but can't save it from going out of bounds. Reyna will bring it into Dial. Now around the corner to number 31. Reyna, it's open underneath in the far corner, back out to 31. Does he pull up and take the shot? No, out to Dial, who goes for a three-point attempt off the rim. And 17 bringing it down now for the Spartans. Nice steal by Jack Dial. He gets it out to Lubetsky. He's got an opening. Hmm. Kellen Buckholtz working hard against him right there. He could not get past Buckholtz. Buckholtz reached around, managed to knock the ball out of bounds. Mathabala back in, number 53 for the Highlanders. Dial will be looking to get it over the head of number 17 there. Gets it to Lebetsky into the basket. He goes up. No, Mathabala with the rebound. He puts it up. No good. The Snail's got the ball for the Spartans now. Passes it all the way down here to zero. He tries to be a hero, no good. Lebetsky now taking it down the right side. Looking for an opening to get inside. He goes, he takes the shot, and the Highlanders are finally on the board. Minute and a half left to go in this first half. 
Both Spartans taking their time to set up now, something they haven't done a lot tonight. Very fast moving team. 17's got the ball now. Dial comes up out of that scrum with the ball and he's got a wide open trip to the basket. Nope, holds up, passes it over to Lubetsky who puts in another two. So far accounting for all four points tonight. Coming up on a minute to play in the first half. Sub back in the game, Lincoln Majors coming in for the Highlanders. Lubetsky taking a seat. He's well earned a rest. Kellen Buckholtz trying to bring the ball up the court. Winds up getting tied up and tripped. And we are just under a minute now. 57.75 to go in the first half. 17, Wyatt Levine will uh, bring it in to Buckholtz. Let me get the camera pointed in the right spot. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Across to Jismail. Did 26 there on the right side, left side of your screen. He tries to drive in. Gets tied up with Dial. Metabola steals the ball. Gets it out to Dial who drives up. Against a lot of opposition. Winds up taking a spill, losing the ball. Levine's looking to bring it in now. There's the Haley, also Buckholtz. Jismail still in the game for the Spartans. And 26, I don't think I named him yet. His name is Mason Ham. Jismail. Now bringing it to court, working against uh, Dial, gets around him. Runs smack into Metabola. Gets it over to Buckholtz. No go. Here comes down with the ball. That'll be Reyna to Dial. Dial again, as we've seen him do so many times tonight, taking his time setting things up. Over to 20, back out to Dial. Over to Near, up to Reyna. It's intercepted as he tries to get it inside to Metabola. And that will be the end of the first half. Your score, the St. Stephen Spartans boys, 23, and the St. Andrews Highlanders, four. We'll have a brief halftime here. Um, at the first game, they only had about a five-minute halftime, so I'm not sure. That was the girls' game. I'm not sure how long they plan to do it here for the boys' game. Nope, oh, there it is. Five minutes on the clock right now. So we'll see you back here in just a few.
And as you hear there, we have the buzzer for the second half. Another 18 minute half to play between the fifth and sixth grade boys, 1A basketball team, your St. Andrews Episcopal School Highlanders versus the St. Stephen's Spartans. Kind of a lopsided first half. We've got a lot more speed and some very, very tall, very burly players on the uh, Spartans team. But everybody's had a time to regroup and uh, strategize and uh, I think maybe we'll see a little more scoring from the Highlanders here in the second half. And we are underway as Downing has the ball at the top of the key, gets a screen from number six there. He drives all the way around to the baseline and Dial takes the ball away from him. He gets called for traveling before getting tied up with uh, Number six, Eli Sahaley. And number 32 about to inbound the ball. Very dangerous young man in the first half, Scott Stridley. He put a lot of points on the board for the Spartans. Freddie Downing's got the ball right now, working against Dial. Trying to get around uh, Noah right there, number 43. Shot no good. Rebetsky comes down with it. He gets tied up with Sahaley. Nathan Schmidt, number 43, for the Spartans, taking the last shot down at the far end of the court. And on the court right now, Dial, number 15 with the ball. Fabula, 53. There's Levetsky, 31, driving around to, the, to his right now, your left. Reyna tries to get it under the, under the basket to Gilmore. Bounces off of him, and Sahaley will inbound now to Downing. Downing, another very fast player, put up several points in the first half. Oh, nice, pass intercepted by Gilmore. He drives the court, gets it to Dial. Dial turns around, puts up the shot, bounces off the rim. Spartans come up with the rebound. And <laughs> Dial comes all the way back down and steals it again. He'll slow things down now, go over to the right to Lebetsky. Levetsky drives in, gives it to Metabola. Dial will inbound from the near baseline. Tries to get it to Metabola. It's intercepted. Tossed down the court to Sahili. Sahili's got 32 under the basket. No, he can't get it. Partially blocked by Gilmore, tied up with Gilmore now. Thirty-two Scott Stribling, again showing how dangerous he is. We're seeing one thing we didn't see much in the first half, and that's him man to man with Gilmore, who is the only player even close to his height and size on the court. So that is a great matchup. Spartans working around. Downing's got it. Tries to drive in, no good, 43. 32, he's got it under the basket, and you saw Gilmore get really aggressive with him there, going up over the back like that. Trying to block the shot from behind. You see Coach kind of trying to calm him down and uh, keep him from making mistakes like that. Three point shot goes in for the Spartans, 26 4 with 14 30 left to play. Jack Dial once again taking his time setting up the offense. Intercepted by Downing. Gets it to 43, who drives up into the basket. Two more in the basket for Spartans. 28 4 now. And we'll do this one more time as Jack Dial comes up the court. Waits for things to get set up. He's got Reyna to the left. With Davila in the corner. Davila gets it to Gilmore in the paint. Gilmore gets tied up by Sahela. Sahaley. Where's the A little bit of confusion as to who should get possession, but there we go. 
Number four, Miguel Rosas in the game once again. Nice! Rosa to Reyna, three-pointer. We'll get that up on the scoreboard as quick as I can. As Downing approaches the far end. He'll drive up himself to take the shot. Rosas is bringing it down this way. 30 to seven. Our score right now, 13 to go. Ball's blocked, Downing. Gets a traveling call before he can take the shot up. All right, Reyna to Lebetsky. Also Aiden Strauss, 44 in the game now, along with Rosas and Metabola. Lebetsky drives up the middle, he's rejected by 32. Rosas comes down with the ball. Gets it over to Reyna, to Metabola now in the right corner. Back out to Reyna, back out to Rosas at the top. Finds, they find Metabola underneath, off the rim. 32's got it right now. And there goes, no! Sahaley comes down with the rebound, he can't get it. Schmidt, Nathan Schmidt, number 43. Things are all tied up into the far basket there. Score 30 to seven, just under 12 to go in this game. Scott's dribbling the big man number 32. Gets it out to Schmidt who puts in three. Here comes Rosas, taking time to set up the offense once again. Goes for Reyna, intercepted by Downing. He's gonna drive the basket, he'll hold up now, wait for his men to catch up. Gets it to 32 underneath, who puts in another two. Rosas once again coming down to set the offense. 32, Scott Stribling. A candidate for top score of the night, that's for sure. Now stripped away by 43 from Rosas. He drives down, can't get it up over the rim. Reyna comes up with it for the Highlanders. Play moves back this way. Reyna crisscrosses with Rosa. Rosas. And we've got a timeout on the court. Looks like we were about to have a substitution. Lincoln Majors, number 20, about to come back in the game. For the Highlanders. We've got a lot to talk about. Big deficit to overcome at this point. And just don't mind me, I'm just making an adjustment on the camera here to see if we can brighten up the picture a little bit as the sun has gone down outside. We've lost the lights, some of the light from the skylight here in the gym. So hopefully that will make things a little bit easier for everybody to follow. And Reyna gets ready to inbound it. Near, Lebetsky to Reyna down there in the corner. He tries to take the shot, he's short. Matrix tries to come down with it. It's knocked out by Red. Majors looking for Reyna, he doesn't, he doesn't have anybody. He tries to get it to Reyna. It's number 10 in the game. Four. St. Stephens. That's uh, Trip Lundquist, seeing him for the first time tonight. Downing takes his time, waits for his guys to get set. Buckholtz number zero on his left, Sahaley on his right. Sahaley screens him now as he goes around the right corner. Trying to get into a position to shoot. Can't get a shot off before the call. Reyna will inbound to Lebetsky. Wait for everybody to get set. Near to the right. Reyna to the left. Reyna's got the ball. Holds up on the three. Oh, traveling call right there. 
So that's not going to go. 35-7. Wyatt Levine to Downey. Up to Sahaley. Number 10. Stiff defense by the Islanders to no avail. Three point shot goes down for St. Stevens. Islanders taking their time. Nope, Lebetsky's going to drive up the middle. No good. Sahaley's got the ball now. He's got he's wide open, running into near. Passes across the court to Buckholtz. Number 10 comes down with it. Now it's out to Downing outside the three point line off the rim. In the hands of Buckholtz for the Highlanders now. I'm sorry, uh, Lebetsky. Let's get it near. To Reyna. He's got his big man up under the paint. He can't quite get over to him. Betsky fakes the drive now out to Majors. Betsky almost all the way back to midcourt. Go to the right. Here's got it. He's going to drive in. Nope. Reyna goes for the three point shot from the far corner. And Downing comes down with the rebound for the Spartans. To Sahaley, working up underneath with 44 there, no good. Reina comes down with the rebound for the Highlanders. Down to Lebetsky. Here, back to Lebetsky. Seven and a half go to, to go in this game, 36-7 the score. Reina to Majors. I don't even know how to describe that. Ragers to Sahaley to Majors to Shot. And in the middle of all of that, somebody got fouled. It'll be Lincoln Majors will go to the line for a couple. Coming up on seven minutes to play now. Score 38 7. Majors will see if he can cut that deficit a little bit. Gilmore and Dial waiting to come into the game. The substitutes and uh, for the Highlanders, for the Spartans, Jess Mail. And not sure who the other player is, but we'll ID him when he comes in. First shot goes down. 38-8 now the score, and here come the subs. For the Highlanders, Metabola, Gilmore. Strauss still out there. Dial. For the Spartans. Levine back out. Buckholtz. Just male. And Mason Ham, number 26, about to inbound the ball right here underneath us. Working against Gilmore. Tries to get over to Buckholtz and Metabola knocks it away. Chris Mayle's got the ball now. Gets it over to 17. Trying to drive him from the right side. He stops, puts up the shot. There's two. Making your score 40 to 8. Dial slowly, methodically. Now he charges the middle, gets it over to 44. Aiden Strauss scores. Down to five minutes to play. Buckholtz going up against Strauss. Good. Gilmore chases the ball. Can't get can't, can't catch up with it before it goes out. Levine. Wyatt Levine, number 17. 
keep forgetting the young man's name. Majors has the ball under the net now, trying to find his way out of there. It's called for the double dribble. Ball will go over to the Spartans. It's Levine, up to Jasnail. Lundquist working on it right now. Back to Levine. Gets blocked by Gilmore. And that will get Levine a trip to the line. Clock ticking down from four minutes, 3.50 now to play. First shot is good, 41-10. And the second shot is good. Gilmore gets it into Dial, who, as he's done all night, is taking his time coming up the court. Three and a half to go. Working against Buckholtz now over to Gilmore. Gilmore tries to go back out to Dial. Buckholtz intercepts. He's got a fast break. Can Dial stop him? He did, but he may have fouled him. Let's see what the ref says. No, but the ball will go over to the Spartans. Levine gets it into Ham underneath the basket, who can't get anywhere with it. And the ball will go back to the Highlanders. And Jack Dial. Rosas back in the game now. Dial to Rosas, back to Dial. Babila, Gilmore, and Majors on the court now for the Highlanders. Dial. Gets it into Majors on the baseline. He takes the shot, no good. Nobody can come down with the rebound. It goes out the back. Islanders will keep the ball. Rosas. Out to Metabola, who puts it, puts it up, off the rail. Dial's got it over in the corner now. Back out to Levetsky. Levetsky drives the middle. Pulls up, puts up the shot, it's off the rim. The Tabula trying, but Levine comes up with it. Levine gets it down the court to Ham. Now it's coming back this way. Majors managed to keep it in balance, but couldn't get it in time to get a shot off. Now it's going back the other way, and Lubetsky gets into Lundquist's way. Levine. We'll inbound to Lundqvist now. As we're down under a, a minute and a half to play. Cross to Jasmail, he's got an opening. He puts it up, no good. Islanders come down. Majors working against Levine at midcourt. Gets it to Lebetsky. Lebetsky across to Rosas, fakes the shot. Now he drives in. Back out to Lebetsky who goes for the three and gets it. 42-13. Buckholtz taking his time now. Levine almost doesn't get that quick pass, but he gets it and goes up the middle and puts two more on the board. 44-13, your score. We're under a minute to play. Dial looking to add a couple more points to that. Majors with the three. Air ball, Levine comes down with it. Just Mayle's got it now. He's going up the right side. Runs a fail of Lebetsky. 36 seconds left to play. So I don't think the outcome of this game is in doubt, but in the second half, the Highlanders have really come to life. Spartans drive down the right side into the corner. Levine gets the shot, puts it up. Nope. 26 with the rebound off the rim. It'll go out. And the Spartans will get one more shot. 16.40 to play. 16.40, 4-1 I should say. Levine, the Lundquist. Lebetsky playing him tough. 
So in 7.36 seconds, the Highlanders will get one more shot. Dial to Lebetsky. Lebetsky's just gonna come straight down. Three seconds to go, two, one. Here takes the shot, rebound, and that is it. The game is over. So your final score in the second game of the evening. The Spartan sixth graders win 44 to 13. Now we do have one more sixth grade level game coming up. We've got in just a moment when we finish inputting this scoreboard change. Apologies, the letter F on my keyboard is uh, <laughs> a little sticky. We've got that now. So the nightcap of our three game, our triple header coming up. Will feature the St. Andrews Highlanders fifth and sixth grade boys 2A team versus St. Stephen's. Now I only have one roster for St. Stephen's. So I don't know if this same group of players will play again or if they have another group. But as we get closer to tip off, I'll, um, I'll let you know about that and we'll get everybody's name announced. We'll have another group of uh, fifth and sixth grade boys coming up for St. Andrews as well. And we look forward to that. We've got a 24 minute, 25 minute, now tweaking down to 24 minutes intermission ahead of us before the next tip off. So I will return with about five minutes till kick off or tip off and we'll run through the rosters and uh, go for there. My name's Kevin McAdams. Thank you once again for joining us for St. Andrews Middle School Basketball tonight on Bike Live.